Before we get into today's video, I wanted to quickly thank AOA.com for sponsoring this channel. AOA is a great place to get all of your Rocket League items including wheels, crates, keys, and much more. Use coupon code JSPADE to save 3% at checkout. Hello YouTube! It is Jack Full Spade. I am back in with some more Rocket League and tonight we are going to be opening a few PCC crates. Uh, it certainly won't be many, but I know in the past we've gotten some good stuff from very few, so we're gonna try and do the same thing again tonight. Um, we don't have any shoutouts, but I, I do need to let you guys know about a scammer that scammed my friend Wentnew today. Uh, his gamer tag is Dr. Energetic FT and the interesting thing is it was only for three keys like literally three keys that's about a dollar twenty worth in cash value like literally an amount of money you could find on the ground and I gave him a chance to give this stuff back and not get exposed and uh, it looks like he's valuing a dollar twenty uh, higher than his literal reputation so that's pretty sad I mean uh, I don't know if you know it was like fifty dollars worth sixty dollars worth um, you know I could see the motivation to uh, value that amount of money over your reputation I mean you know it's never a good idea but I, I could you know see how some people would think that way but to literally value a dollar and change over your name and your reputation like that's one of the saddest things I've seen out there so it's uh, unfortunate but I don't know it's his choice I gave him a chance so uh, I, I don't know I'll, I'll go ahead and show the clip while I was talking about that but it's just unfortunate that people are really that low out there so uh, just keep an eye out for him make sure that you're not scammed as well but uh, I think we'll go ahead and open some crates now um, I have been playing Rage 2 recently, I picked that up the other night, and uh, I've been having a good time with it, you know, it's definitely been fun. Uh, the original Rage was one of my first Xbox 360 games. Uh, Comet, on the very first pull, I'll definitely take another import. Um, but yeah, I had a good time with the original game. I knew that uh, the reviews were kind of mediocre, but um, I really enjoyed it, you know? It was very atmospheric, it definitely made you feel like you were in that post-apocalyptic wasteland. Um, I liked the combination of really good first-person shooting and that driving component, you know? Getting your dune buggy and upgrading it and driving it all over the wasteland and the vehicle combat and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, all of that stuff is in the second game, but it's a uh, very open world now. Um, I saw that uh, one of the people who worked on it uh, oh man, Unpainted Infiniums, that's alright. Um, I saw one of the studios that worked on it was uh, Avalanche Studios, and they're the same people who helped with the Just Cause franchise. So, you know, it makes sense that they would be interested in making it a little more open world, but it was just kind of a sudden change, because that first game was very linear in its narrative uh, composition, and, you know, the story missions were basically most of what you did um, and now there's just a bunch of random stuff scattered throughout the map for you to do if you want and you know I'm not opposed to that it's definitely fun but um, some of them do tend to get a little repetitive so uh, if anybody else has played the uh, Rage 2 games um, I would definitely like to hear about your feedback your experience and what you think um, so yeah, that was 10 crates, but I think we'll go ahead and continue here, see if anything else happens, but uh, yeah, I would like to hear. I mean, um, I might actually make a video uh, about Rage 2 sometimes, so we'll see about that, but you know, it's definitely entertaining. I feel like I've definitely gotten my money's worth, so uh, you know, I would like to hear what other people have experienced with it so far. Um, it definitely looks like one of those games that's gonna take a lot of time. Um, it looks like we got a Saffron Lone Wolf there, so that's not too bad. I, I'm pretty sure that's Saffron. Yeah, that doesn't look like Lime. I got a Lime one earlier and it definitely looked different. Ugh. But yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. I, I'd like us to get maybe a couple more imports or uh, painted exotic. I mean, obviously, a black market would be amazing. Uh, it feels like it's been a while since we've gotten an actual black market from a crate, so that could be nice. But it's not happening right now. Uh, we got four left at this point. At least that's how many keys we have. Import, that's good. It's gonna be an unpainted Jaeger. Alright, well, I guess we can trade it up, that's for sure. Um, we'll see if there's anything in these last three. Rare here. Pearlescent. I am gonna have a good, good bit of PCC stuff to trade up, but... Um, oh, another import! Oh, is that a Black Twinser? Oh, that is solid! I will totally take a Black Twinser. That's great! I, uh, I recently have been selling some Twinsers on Gameflip. They, uh, have been pretty easy to sell, so I will certainly take a Black Twinser. That's definitely one of the better looking Twinsers, so I am a big fan of that. That's great. Um, I'm glad that that happened, you know, in our second to last crate as well. So, we'll see what this one is, but I'm pretty happy. So yeah, I think at this point we'll go ahead and move on to trade up, see if there's anything there for us. But I am glad that we were able to get a Black Twinser there, that's great. So two Starlighter and three Pearlescent Matte. Yamane's no paint. Uh, we'll do four Pearlescent and one Funny Book. Uh, Reaper no paint again. Let's see, three Starlighter and two Funny Buck. Chakra, no paint, jeez. I mean, I, I know that there's not really that many great painted very rares, but I'd like to get something. Gaiden, good lord. Okay, one Lone Wolf, one Dragon Lord, uh, two Funny Buck, three Funny Buck. Uh, okay. Orange Yamanes with a cert on top. Tactician! Oh, that's pretty funny. I feel like I've been getting some uh, good certs on these Yamanes recently. We got a score Crimson Yamane earlier, so I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. I know that I recently sold a Striker Pink Yamane on Game Flip, so hopefully there might be somebody interested in those other good certs as well. Uh, unpainted Gaiden there. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Let's see, we can do those two. I mean, I guess we can do that, we can do that. So one more, what should our last one be? I'll probably just use an unpainted Striker Lone Wolf. Unpainted Chakrams, all right. Well, I mean, if any of our trade-ups are gonna be painted, I'd rather it be the import trade-ups. Uh, so, we will see what happens. <clears throat> oh, I think that's gray. Yeah, I don't think that's a white Jaeger. I'm pretty sure that's gray. Yeah, it is. Man, that's so funny. I got a gray Jaeger the other day and it fooled me just like that. Well, that's alright. I mean, I'll just go ahead and trade it up. So, four Chakram and one Reaper here. Oh, that's weird. Oh, maybe I didn't actually have four chakra. Maybe I only had two. Yeah, it's weird how it does that sometimes. Uh, unpainted Twinser. Let's see. I won't use that Yamane. I was just uh, clicking on it to get in here. Um, I guess we'll use a Gray Reaper. So yeah, please do wish me luck. This is going to be our last barrier of trade up. Oh my god, did we literally get two great Jaegers? <laughs> oh my god. We gotta double check that. Yeah, we literally got two great Jaegers in a row. I mean, not in a row, there was one in between, but jeez, that's so funny. It's just teasing me time and time again, not giving me that white. That's pretty funny. All right, well, let's see if we can uh, pull off a import trade. Yum, so please do wish me luck, and here we go. Ah, uh, red.
regular Zomba. Man, oh man. I mean, I can't say I'm too surprised. It's only a 25% chance of getting paint. Hopefully this works out. I would really appreciate it, so please do wish me luck. And here we go. Oh my god, regular Zombas again. They just messing with me. They just messing with me. So please do wish me luck and hopefully this one works. Life. Oh, okay. I will take it, man. Crimson Zomba, I mean, it's not the best, but it is still a painted Zomba and definitely one of the better colors at that, so um, that's great. I, I think I actually had a preset around here that I used to use with a uh, Crimson Zomba, so let me see if I can try and find that again. Oh no, here it is. Okay. So, let's see. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I gotta say, I do like that. I like how, you know, you can make a combination of the different colors that are in the wheel, in the decal as well. So, um, I do like that setup, but uh, I'm glad that we were able to get a painted exotic. I really would have been pretty sad finishing on three unsuccessful trade-ups, but it all worked out. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, I do appreciate your positivity and support, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. We got lots more coming this week, so I will go ahead and catch y'all on the next one.